Well, here I am again. I haven't been out on the uh, KLR 250 for a while, so I thought I'd give it a run out. Gave it a test start last night, and it was a pig! As I said before, I've done my back, which has affected my hip, so actually kicking a bike over it, as opposed to having an electric start, that's aggravated it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, eventually I had to take the plug out and preheat it with a blowtorch and then one kick later one kick later it was uh, started so if only I'd have done that in the first place this is Lansing College and again as I always say in my videos um, I've never been up here Should report to reception, should I? There you go, it's majestic, isn't it? Yeah, I say, never been up here, Lansing College. My mate used to come up here because they had a big swimming pool and they used to do the. Um, scuba diver training yeah it's uh quite fantastic let's turn that It'll faint later. It just gets the traffic lights and revs its head off, and then it goes, oh, I can't be bothered, and then dies. Yeah, it's quite um, what a gaff, isn't it? Well, that's all about. So yeah, there you go, Lansing College. First stop this morning. Yeah, glorious day. I've just stopped there for well, a couple of minutes, take it in, take some take some photos, brought my camera out again. Um, and instantly my hands are freezing. I think it's about four degrees if I'm lucky, but it's uh, well, it's quite an open space. It's quite a wind chill coming across. There you go. If you're going to go out in the winter, you've got to expect these things. I'm actually pretty layered up. Um, bought some new cold killers base layer trousers and I had the cold killers jacket so I've got them on I'm not feeling anything through that onto my legs or chest I've got the cold killers under gloves as well but at the moment just in these gloves my hands are fine another new purchase nice nice soft textile ones um, thermal and uh, Gore-Tex so eh? waterproof I bought them oversized so I could get them over the cold killers underglove so now they feel a little bit on the large side 
but they're so comfortable. You might have to get a pair for for general use. Um, there was a. I wanted to try out that I saw yesterday. I don't think it actually leads anywhere, but go and have a look. Right, Blackstone Lane. Came past here yesterday on the 12.50. Yes, I finally got the 1250 back after the crash. And um, they've done a good job of it, but they bloody should have done three months to do it. Um, so yeah, I was out yesterday making sure everything was all right with the 1250. Um, went past this little lane, I thought, oh, I'll have a look down there. So here I am, having a look down there. And it's amazing. Or not. It's just a lane. It's another just a lane. I don't know where it leads to. didn't actually say where it does lead to. It's just a footpath, public footpath, public footpath. Because I'm pretty sure there's nowhere to play on the 250 um, in, I was going to say East Sussex, but uh, I must be in West Sussex at the moment. There you go. Blackstone Lane leads to Blackstone. What an accurate set of signs. Stone Farm Cyclist Get an engine for that bike Quaint little cottages Thank you very much Farm Cottage Getting any better at the wheel in? But yeah, it's been a while since I've been out on the 250, and as I say, as I've done my back, I can't really go off roading too much. Well, at all, really. Doesn't mean I can't fuck about doing wheelies, though. Or not doing wheelies. That was crap. Bit wiggly woggly, but not too bad. My hands are getting a little bit cold. I think I'll put the cold killers on <sighs> if they haven't fallen out my pocket <sighs> I 
top notch. It does add a obviously adds a layer to your hands and takes away some of the feeling of the of the controls, but nowhere near as much as wearing huge big winter gloves. I mean these look huge but uh, they're quite quite thin on the fingers. On the back they're quite uh, quite thick for a bit of excellent insulation against the elements. And then obviously with the cold killers on which are windproof right the way along the back there and over your fingertips stop the chill getting in um, that's not handy yeah and on the inside it's sort of a breathable material that uh, stops you from sweating so I'm just trying to hold my sleeves down, get them in under the glove, stop the draft up my sleeve. But yeah, look at the state of her. Filthy. Probably wants a new chain actually. The old uh, petrol runoff doesn't do the tank any favours. But it does exactly what it's meant to do. Gets from A to B and gives you a bit of a play. That's just my bag, I bolted to the back, hold a bit of a tool kit in and bits and pieces. Did have a rack on the back and stuff, but. I wanted something you could actually just unzip, throw your stuff in, rather than worrying about bungee straps and everything. Tying stuff down. bit of totally illegal off-roading in somebody's field have a little camera shoot obviously not just me that likes the view purpose built bent and bench and bent fucking twat bench and um, viewing point but uh, 
Yeah, lovely little view. A few more photos. Oh, fucking hell, 1980s throwback. I always wanted to be Magnum P.I. <laughs> Well, I think that's enough of a journey out. We're going to head back home. A nice hot cup of coffee. Perhaps do a bit more on the uh, GSXR 600 Street Fighter project. Uh, got all the tail off at the moment. So, modifying that, cutting it down. But that's a whole nother video. So yeah, I think I'll head on home. Um, so that's me heading home. Have my trip out on the 250, give it a good run. But, uh, few nice photo shoots hopefully they've come out alright might incorporate some of them into the into the video and if they come out shit I won't it's all a learning curve and um, so that's it yeah see you again thanks for watching don't forget subscribe if you like it there's more don't if you don't like it but uh, comments uh, always welcome thanks very much ride safe catch you later